Forensic psychologists and mental health advocates say the need for reform is urgent. I've been working uh, doing competency evaluations uh, for eight and a half, almost nine years now, and this needed to get done when I first got here. When I first got here, it needed to get done 10 years before that. Lawmakers are proposing creating a commission that would review existing statutes and current needs in the state and work to come up with improvements, including to the system of care for people with severe mental illness who have been found incompetent to stand trial and coming up with a plan for restoration, a process advocates say doesn't currently exist. Essentially, if somebody is found not competent to stand trial, the court just says, go get restored, come back in a year. And what we've found is that there are a lot of folks in New Hampshire that do not get restored. The competency rate for New Hampshire restoration is about half that of what the national average is. The courts implement the laws that are written. Uh, so if the legislature wants to give us uh, more updated direction, more specific direction, we're always happy to receive that. There's also concern that some of the language, practices, and standards are outdated. Other states have been working to reform their systems. There's new ideas floating around. Different states have implemented them. We want to see what they've done and how that worked for them and see what might work here in New Hampshire. And Holly Stevens with NAMI New Hampshire said nationwide more than 80% of people found incompetent to stand trial have that competency restored and returned to court. But in New Hampshire, that's much lower. In 2019, only about 44% were restored. We're live in Concord, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.